I started gardening and growing my own vegetables actually during the time when our stay at home order was put in place because of the pandemic and I've kept it up since then. I think it's going on what eight or nine months and I've learned a lot in the process. I actually started cooking at home more because just to be a little bit more careful for my family and for myself and I thought it would be fun to try different recipes and obviously like everyone else during this pandemic you start to look at like YouTube and you watch people cooking things and I thought why not you know I wanted to try to start cooking my own bread which I have I've learned a lot I've learned a lot about the process it's not as easy as buying a cake mix box and adding water and eggs there's a lot more to it and it's actually fun and as long as my family is not fibbing to me, they say that the, my homemade bread is a lot better than store-bought bread. So I've continued to do that because it's something that keeps me busy and I'm learning, learning something new. There's definitely a lot of great benefits of growing your own food and, and making your own food, first of all, is the cost. I, I feel we've saved so much money by not eating out or even ordering takeout. You know, cooking meals at home are a fraction of the price. And then you can really take a look at what you're putting into your food and being careful with that. And when you buy food or you go out to restaurants, you don't quite know what's being added to it. So definitely there was a cost factor and an ingredient factor to that that I've become more aware of. I think it's just, again, something that is is to be careful not going out, staying home, using the ingredients that you have from home, going into the garden and seeing what I can use. I, I've used bell peppers that I've grown. I've grown tomatoes and use them in my cooking. And it's actually kind of fulfilling. It's actually fun and, and I definitely enjoy it. So I, I will continue that post pandemic.